were a very happy family. But then, Mum got ill. Dad stayed at home to look after her. Gran took us to school, but... But she couldn't get better. Mum died. It seemed like the end of everything. After a while, Dad had to go back to work in the office. So Gran moved in. Do you think our house will really look like this? Of course it will. Wow. Oh, and I've got to have a study at home for when I'm running my international company of really important workings and doings. Oh. And I've got to have a room for my football school too. Yeah. Oh. But there's always something that's going to ruin everything. And it usually involves boys. Ring a ding dong ding. New term, new cutie boy. Ever felt you were just plain and simple, born to have accidents? <laughs> Where have you been? I've been so worried. I can't believe you'd be so selfish. You stay out all night, then take Doll off without even telling me. What was I supposed to think? Sorry, we just... You make me sick! I got Tracy Beaker when I was 12 years old and it was my first big role. I'd only ever done sort of bit parts here and there. Um, and what a first role to get. Obviously, we've all heard of Jacqueline Wilson. I had read all of her books apart from Tracy Beaker. It was the only book I hadn't read. So when I found out I got the audition, I nicked a copy off my friend and was frantically trying to read it before the audition. Mike. Someone's put their stuff in my room. Look, uh, Tracy, you've been gone for three months. We thought you'd left us for good this time. This is my room! Whoever's in it can pack up that scratchy stuff and clear off right now! The way that Jacqueline wrote Tracy, I identified with her straight away. She was feisty, she was this huge character. How come no one ever believes me, huh? The impact that Trace Beaker's had is just absolutely incredible. Even still, I have kids coming up to me from foster care and looked after children, just thanking us for making the programme because it's no longer a taboo subject. Kids on the street got to look out for each other. You're on the street, then? Looks like it, doesn't it? I'm Ben. Ben Button Booth. Tracy Beaker. I haven't seen any other programmes that are set in a care home. It's just like it's unique. It also teaches us what it's like in a dumping ground. And what they go through, like, in everyday life. Through the eyes of Tracy, Life and Looked After Children was revealed to a television audience for the first time, and the dumping ground became an important place in the hearts and minds of British kids. Jacqueline doesn't shy away from tough subjects. She's not patronising when she writes. She does it with humour and wit. And I cannot wait to pass down those books to my daughter. No, 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 they're not ours. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Can you imagine? <laughs> so, what is... We're a children's home. Jacqueline's imagination is something that I want. I would love to be inside her head. To be able to write brilliant books such as Tracy Beaker and then to write another, like Hetty Feather. Now we've got all of these amazing TV series out of what she's written. Hetty, you're right. You're burning up. Harriet's right, Hetty. Looks like a fever. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. Stay away from me, Feather. Ugh. Hetty's got the lurgy. No, I haven't. I was sent the book of Hetty Feather to read. And I cried. And I loved it. And I fell in love with it. And it was at that moment that I knew completely that I wanted to bring it to the screen. I knew that I loved Hetty so much that I could commit a lot of time to this feisty, wonderful, contemporary Victorian girl. Ida, we made it. We did. Oh, God. 
I like Hetty Feather because it's a drama series where Hetty, she doesn't live with her mom anymore. She lives in this place where she has lots of secrets with her friends. Jacqueline Wilson's characters feel like they're realistic and they are similar problems to us. You can feel like you're that person in the book when she's writing it. I really enjoy reading her books and she is ve she's a big inspiration. She's wrote a lot of books that I've read and she's inspired me to write my own pieces of writing in school. could be your foster mother. What do you say? It's really kind of you to ask and everything, but I don't think you'd want me. Maybe Poppy or one of the other I girls. I do want you. If you knew everything about me, you'd only change your mind. April, I know everything about you. Everything. You still want me? Yes. Jacqueline obviously changed my life because she wrote Tracy Beaker and I am now forever Tracy Beaker and it is a title that I will cherish for the rest of my life. This very special lady has a gold Blue Peter badge. It doesn't get better than that. She's got people into books, into reading. She is an absolute legend. Our first ever guest editor here on Blue Peter. Jacqueline, we love you. You're incredible. Jacqueline, I could not be more proud of you. Congratulations and this is so well deserved.